people living in Malaysia do not recognize are, are we really happy people or not? And then they are doubt about it. No wonder. I mean, that's everywhere. But you know, world is filled with the misery. And then compared to other, it's a comparable value. So actually, the the Malaysian people knows more than anybody else. So that's what I was logically logic, logically proving today. So to give you the confidence and the credibility of your self, right? So you have to know, you know, what's what you are, who you are, and you have to take advantage of your you know, asset yourself. And obviously you're the late starter, so that you have to, you know, find out pinpointing, you have to focusing on that. That's what I was talking about. Of course, you have to develop, you know, just like other p the lecturer says, you have to do your hard-boiled solid science or the medical science or anything. I'm not saying that's no good. But on top of it, you have to differentiate yourself. You just don't trace the senior countries and then you have the same fate is waiting and it's shorter so so you have to add to elongate your life of the prosperity prosperity is coming anyhow but you know it shouldn't be so short so that for that i i was hinting you from the running from the profiling history of japan <laughs> japan went through this you know like like 50 years before you just by chance but you know you shouldn't you know, you should run something good and something bad. And I'm talking about something bad, bad for Japan and also the good for you guys, right? So that's my, you know, the the best uh, best thought of my, you know, this uh, uh, proposal for you guys to uh, to make you awake for yourself. You have the diversity of the subculture. You know, if I divide the culture into two, it's a high culture and the subculture. High culture means the past. You know, you have the story, like a legendary story before the prosperity, like a, you know, Louis Vuitton kind of thing, has an inspiration from the Napoleon's, you know, big, you know, the story. But that's all about the past. So they are just eating out the past stock of this, you know, past prosperity. But on the contrary, the subculture is a new. Main career is usually the young people. It means future. You know, future, you know, the, oh, in any country, old people disrespect the subculture, especially the new culture, because, of course, they don't like it, because they didn't grow up like that. But, you know, you are the latecomer in, in a whole global competition, then what you can find the, uh, the jewel out of the whole, you know, the, the desert is must be in the subculture, because that's your future, young people's uh, mentality, right? So. But uh, you, it has to be polished out like a jewel stone. You have to pick up things and it's polish it. So for that, you need to, a whole atmosphere has to respect the subculture for us. That's ourselves, right? And then you have the diversity, you know, multiracial, multi, you know, whatever you, you're so, that's a motto of your country, right? So I'm so, you have a lot of chance, much more than Japan, because Japan is so homogeneous, yeah. right? So, but still we have a lot. So. Mm, Malaysia must have a lot more, right? You know, the potential must be a lot more, right? 